Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today we're going to take a look at some of the new stuff from Archvillain Games. And they recently decided to start making a whole set of lizard men. I thought, oh, how quaint, you know, it's nice. They've got a very flamboyant style going on there. And I thought, well, you know, this is nice, but this isn't what I think of when I think of Archvillain Games. When I think of Archvillain Games, I think of big giant models. And then I realized, oh, you know what? Silly me. It's because I printed the wrong things. If you're curious just how big their lizards are in comparison, but that's not what I wanted to print. What I wanted to print was the thing that sits on this base. And one of a few that sits on bases that size, actually. With their newest release, they had a model called the Blessed Claws of Zikal. I know that they usually have an accompanying RPG module, adventure, whatever you want to call it, that incorporates all the stuff for that month's Patreon release. So if you're into that, I know they have all those releases on um, wherever they store. My mini factory, I'm like, I know the place where they store it. So anyway, the Blessed Claws of Ziskal are what are supposed to sit on this base. And there's actually three poses. I only printed one of them to show you today, but I am just more and more impressed with the level of detail that we are seeing various teams of sculptors and artists create with Patreon, uh, just 3D printing in general. So yeah, that's our base, and then let's grab the body of our friend. So they are these gigantic, and I'm not trying to use the term with a lot of hyperbole, I mean, they, they are quite large, very theropod-like, giants that are going to accompany the lizard men into battle and again the level of detail is just really impressive i had a heck of a time trying to get the supports out from all those feathers on his headdress though that was a pain now not all of them at least at the time that i was printing this were hollowed out this one was and i want to say maybe one of the other ones was as well you've got a absolutely ridiculously large shield You've got a big honking spiked tail, a really large stone sword, and then obviously you're going to need a pair of feet because how else is it going to stand, right? So, uh, I got to say, this release, more than anything else I've seen in Ar Archvillain Games, has put out quite a few uh, big sets of models at this point. I, I, I think they're kind of taking the reigning crown for me at the moment in terms of just big hunkin' uses of resin, but I do appreciate the fact that a lot of this stuff is also getting hollowed out, so we can save a little bit there, but this release more than any, I think, I can see that I'm gonna need a couple bottles. So, I'm gonna get this guy put together, and we'll see how he stacks up to some of the other giant monstrosities we've got hanging out on the table. Sit tight. All right, well, We've got our first of the Blessed Claws of Zextal. That's the name of Zextal. Ziskal, that's it, Ziskal. The Blessed Claws of Ziskal. So we got the first one done at least. Plop! Nice big base. And plop! Nice big dinosaur dude who I cannot remember ever which way. No, I was right the first time. Maybe. Which way he's supposed to go? That's the way. That's the way. Okay, this dude is just absolutely massive. As you can see, he doesn't fit on camera. As we attempt to get the camera stabilized, whether that wants to happen or not, is an entirely different story. Stay, dang it. Stay! All right, well, you're staying enough, so we'll call it even Steven there. So yeah, massive base, massive model. Uh, yeah, he is not standing fully upright. There is one of these models that is. He's kind of leaning over, but at least once I get him stable, which I obviously don't, uh, he is pretty good about keeping his position there. See, see, see? There we go. Now, I mean, I'm not kidding around. He is massive. Uh, using the Pathfinder Dino 
for example. Uh, you can see he is absolutely just dwarfing the poor thing. Grabbing a lizard man, if I can find. I have way too much clutter on my table right now. How about a croxigor? Mm, no, not that impressive. <laughs> Piddly little lizard man in comparison. Just to give you an idea of just how big this model is. My first thought. Uh, now, obviously, Archvillain's got their D&D compatible adventures wee, that they've been putting up on their Patreon on a monthly basis to usually go along with all this stuff. Stat blocks, adventure hooks, campaign ideas, all that jazz. Uh, so I have no idea what you would use this for in D&D, but my first thought is this guy is a perfect stand-in for, like, a Carnosaur or a Troglodon in a Lizardman army. I think that would look absolutely impressive. Why bother just having a little guy riding on top of the big thing when you can have just a big guy, right? Funny enough, so it's about a hundred millimeter base. If you wanted to just substitute this guy in, let's say for like a Wadroon army in Conquest, fits pretty nicely on that base. Of course, if you're going to do something like Kings of War, I'm sure there's something in the Saurus Salamanders list that you can find a use for as I knock over his dinosaur friend here. But just absolutely impressive. Uh, honestly, I gotta say, uh, as I knock him over again, and he is still in one piece, Hard Villain is definitely in the running for, I think, at least one of the top five spots, I think, on Patreon. Uh, just the quality of the sculpts, the fact that everything fits together rather nicely, the fact that I can get it all on my dinky little frozen sonic mini printer that's always a plus uh, despite the fact that it takes multiple print jobs i've got a base for another model there's in fact and it's going to take like 10 hours and that's the only thing that could fit i feel bad for my printer it's like running non-stop but you know it's got some cool stuff to cover so yeah uh, Honestly and truly, I think if you're watching this and you haven't picked up any of the stuff for the month that these guys were released, or if you've got one of the inevitable half-off coupons or deals via Patreon or My Mini Factory, and you're looking at the release for these guys, it was like the Old World Uprising or the old, something like, I don't remember. It's a bunch of lizard stuff. If you're down with the lizards, I think this is one of those like insta-buy purchases if you have access to a printer. And if you don't have access to a printer... Just, it's 10 bucks. Hold on to it. You know, it ain't going anywhere. It's not going to add to your pile of shame unless you're counting your digital pile of shame, which, you know, some of us have hard drives of shame. <laughs> not me, though. Why would I? Anyways, we'll put a link down below if you haven't had a chance to check out Art Channel Games' Patreon site. I absolutely recommend. If you're catching this video after these guys premiered, uh, you might want to check out their My Mini Factory page as well which I will have a link for, and hopefully you are going to find something you like. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Say thanks for watching, and we will see you guys back here soon. Bye-bye.